Evergreen is a special place. Um, you can feel it in the minute you walk in the door. Um, it's just a family. Uh, I feel like you can be yourself here. Um, kids are curious, they're engaged, they love to read, um, they love school, and they're happy. Oh, I love teaching here because this atmosphere is just a wonderful, warm environment. The Evergreen family has been so warm and welcoming and kind, and I'm just so blessed to be a part of this family. At Evergreen, we have mixed age classrooms, and so kids really get to interact. So I get to see different levels and how the kids help each other out. It's a real community here. Um, it's just been incredible to have the exact same kids two years in a row. I'm seeing just how much it benefits the kids to have an older around them who knows the ropes. It takes away a lot of that fear and anxiety, especially at the beginning of the year. I love that we um, it's student-centered so that what they are interested in and ask questions about, we take the time to find out about and research. So they learn to be um, advocates then of finding out knowledge for themselves and also for each other. The kids are at just that fun age where you get to watch the learning explode. Um, and that's what I love about my job every day. For kindergarten in Team 1, we work on a lot of spatial awareness, a lot of locomotor movements. So that would be hopping, skipping, and jumping. We will work on a lot of base skills of catching and kicking um, so that we can progress um, and build on all of those skills so that by the time they're in team three or in fifth grade, we're, we're playing mostly sports and um, able to play a lot of games. We start with those fundamental skills of how to hold our utensils and supplies and how to create responsibly. So they get a variety of art materials, including colored pencils, markers, crayons, paint, and even clay. We focus a lot on speaking and knowing the basics. So for Team One, we do numbers, we do the colors, we do asking questions for greeting each other. How are you? You know, what's your name? I try really just to introduce a few words at a time and have them have fun with those words. I'm always in constant communication with the other teachers. We're always um, talking about um, the needs of different students and, and how I and we can best serve those students. I try really hard to have um, the books that we read in library class um, supplement what they're learning in the classroom. I do try to communicate with the classroom teachers to figure out what they're learning. Sometimes I do artwork that crosses over, but I also like to make sure that they're learning something that's art related as well as classroom related. I love that I can communicate with um, my team partner. We have the flexibility to adjust to the kids, adjust to um, what their needs might be or their interests might be. What the students are learning in music class totally helps them to remember what they're learning in their homeroom classroom. Most of the time in school, our left side of our brain is being utilized. So switching off that side and turning on the right hand side of our brain and learning to be more creative is important. We're working on things like teamwork and cooperation and um, problem solving. And so all of those things are important skills that they need to have when they're working in the classroom as well. It's never too early to start learning um, wise ways to use technology. And we try to make it fun and engaging, but in a way that is appropriate. We begin the day and end the day with God, and we talk about that all of our world belongs to God, and that means that everything we learn and know is from Him and for Him. God is a part of every single situation. When we talk about science, it's not something that has to be like, okay, now we're gonna talk about you know, where God fits into this. It naturally is a part of that conversation and a part of the world that He made. Every week, the students will have a learning target that they know at the beginning of each class. Let's say I can perform a quarter note. And then we do the lesson, and at the end of class, they get to assess themselves. The expectation is that they are engaged in their own learning. My goals and expectations are that the kids will come in um, ready to work and that they're, they're willing to push themselves through challenges. I just really want kids to love reading um, and to be excited to come and check out a new book. 
my goal by the time they leave Evergreen is to have them be comfortable enough that they're willing to speak Spanish in front of other people. At Team One, we work a lot on making sure that we have a wide variety of literature so that children are reminded that God's people are diverse um, in every way. I want them to feel successful, I want them to feel empowered, and I want them to know that their thinking and their strategies are good. Even if it's not like someone else's, it, there is no one correct way to get to an answer. Whatever works for you, works for me. We always talk about mistakes make your brain grow. We celebrate those mistakes, we clap, we are excited because then we get to see how you change your thinking.